Hold the programmable thermostat. Um, a lot of people have seen these, a lot of people know what they are, not a big deal. I just want to mention a uh, possible fix in case yours starts going wonky. Essentially what mine was doing is it was running great and then about two years into it, it started um, kind of turning on, turning off, then turning on for a little bit and then turning off, then short bursts. And like all, you know, I went ahead and said, okay, the, the batteries must be bad, but the indicator wasn't telling me they were bad. And this one, you know, this is a seven day a week programmable, which is kind of nice. I'm using rechargeable batteries. I have used uh, regular batteries, but you have to replace them every six months, and the rechargeables are just a nicer answer. So back to the problem. So eventually, I'm not sure what that is. Eventually, um, basically, I kind of, it stopped working at all. So it was 85 degrees at 12 at night in my place, and I was thinking, uh, crap, what am I going to do? And what I did was I said, okay, well, we're going to go get Walmart special and swap it out. Now, I didn't want to swap it out because, you know, you pay good money for these things. And I thought, okay, it dies every two years. It sucks. But what I didn't notice until last moment is there's a reset button right up here. And I didn't notice it because in the dark, this just looks like circuit plugs all over the place. So... You reset it, I did, and I reset it, and suddenly the battery indicator, which comes up here, suddenly told me that it, it didn't like the batteries, the batteries were malfunctioning or weren't up to charge, what have you, and suddenly it started responding the way it's supposed to be responding. So a quick fix, if you have a thermostat that's malfunctioning, a programmable thermostat, is one, you always want to make sure you check these guys, make sure they're all tight, and you can do a light tug. Um, another thing you can do is take the screw and just tighten them down. Um, the other thing is look for the reset. It might even be recommended to reset them once every uh, year to two years. You shouldn't have to, but let's face it, these things are made for what, a buck forty-five back in wherever the hell they're made from. Um, actually, it's it's probably it's probably like five bucks or something along the line. And also, they're 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 electronics. They sit. They don't do very much. There isn't a, a lot that goes into this. It doesn't matter about the name. Like this one's a right temp, and I think it came from Home Depot. But realistically, you know, um, I now see this exact form factor and same features under a different name. So I think they rotate names often. Um, even Honeywell has some form factors that rotates in and out. And some are off brands made by Honeywell or made by other manufacturers for the big box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, what have you, Ace. Um, so anyways... So ignore this. This doesn't really mean as much anymore. You want to kind of look for the form factor. I mean, you should always read reviews. I've been going through a lot of reviews, but even the Honeywells are having issues after a certain amount of time. So I, again, what I would do is I would, uh, before you go chuck these things or replace them, go ahead and do a full reset. Maybe pull the batteries and do a full reset and see if that solves your problem. Uh, again, I just don't want anybody to be up at 12 at night in an 85 degree um, sauna, hoping their AC turns on. I hope this helps anyone, and this is just a, a simple fix to save some money if it works and, um, and get you out of having to replace the thermostat. Bye.